Hello, everybody. Um, I'm sharing my screen printing uh, process with you today, and I want to um, share the recipe in case anyone else is, is planning on doing some screen printing. So what I did was I mixed up some uh, Mason Color Works underglaze recipe, and that's 200 grams of soda spar, 100 grams of EPK, Ed Edward, uh, Edgar Plastic Kaolin. You can use any kaolin. Um, Ferro Frit 3124, ball clay, I used uh, OM4, Old Mine 4, Kentucky Old Mine 4, um, and 50 grams of that, and 50 grams of Zircopax, and I added 50 grams of my mason stain, which I used the Mazarine Blue in this case, and that's 550 uh, grams of uh, ingre uh, dry ingredients. And then I wanted it to be really thick. So uh, the original Mason uh, Color Works recipe calls for uh, your liquid mixture to be, um, I believe it's two parts uh, underglaze, sorry, two parts antifreeze, um, two parts uh, CMC liquid, and one part water, but I could be wrong about that. I'd have to look it up. Um, but what I added was 300 grams of antifreeze, and then enough water to make a pudding-like mixture. So I'm gonna show that to you here. Yum, yum. So this is the mix, and I mixed it with a um, immersion blender. I did not strain it because I'm going to be screen printing with it, and the screen printing mesh is 110, 110 uh, mesh. So I'm not gonna have any uh, lumps going through the screen. So this is a little fixotrophic. It'll get it'll get thinner as you stir it, but not too too much. So there's the the basic mix. And then I made snot. Snot is a cup of hot water in the blender, and I have a dedicated pottery blender. I I would never do this in my kitchen blender. Um, so a cup of hot water. I boiled it so it was boiling in the kettle. And I added three heaping teaspoons of CMC pow powder. And I pretended I was making myself a cup of hot chocolate. And that's about how much hot chocolate powder I use. Um, and you blend it. And then it ends up looking like snot. That's why I called it snot. Don't mix up a lot of this stuff. I probably shouldn't have done a whole cup full. It will go rancid. Um, it's organic, so it'll rot. Um, I mean, it'll... It'll last a, a year or more uh, unless you're, you know, sticking your fingers in it all the time. But isn't that just so delightful? Halloween's coming. If you want to spread snot all over your kids and send them out, there we go. So that's what I make. And then um, I didn't, uh, because uh, the CMC powder uh, will rot, I didn't want to make a lot of ink for my uh, screen printing, so I took only 350 grams of the prepared underglaze. Then I added 25 grams of the snot, uh, blended it with an immersion blender, and this, that's what I used to make my ink. So here's my ink. And it is, this is also a little fixotropic, so it'll get thinner the more I stir it. There we go. So this is working really well. Um, the pra my, my practice uh, printing, um, I, I didn't have a proper squeegee, so I went and borrowed a, a proper squeegee. So you're going to see my very first uh, print with a squeegee. I'm going to share that with you. So there's my ink. Uh, let's go over where I've got, I'm set up to do my printing. Now, I probably should have thought about putting you on top of something. Let's see if this will work. Ah, yes, that works well. So, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I've got a piece of paper under my screen, and then I'm going to hold my screen up so it's not touching the paper. Maybe 
um, well, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to take uh, some of my ink and spread it out on the top of the screen, not on my um, places where I want to print. And I don't need a lot. Um, the screen isn't going to use a lot of ink. But it won't be wasted. I can just scoop it up and put it back in the jar. So, you know, if you happen to put a lot, you know, glue a lot on, it's not a big deal. My, the, it's more important that you get it more or less even across the screen. Okay. So that's, that's how much I put on. I hope you can see it. And then what I'm going to do first, before I put it down on the paper, is I'm going to do what's called flooding the screen. So I'm going to pull uh, the underglaze down across my, my screen, and that will fill all of the spaces with underglaze. Make sure I've got my underglaze all in line there. Okay, so flooding the screen. There we go. So now I'm going to put it down on my paper. And then I'm going to come over here. And now I'm just going to press that underglaze through to my paper. Set my squeegee aside. I'll clean it off first. I don't want to waste any of this underglaze. That mason stain is spendy. I don't want to waste it. The rest of the ingredients aren't. So. Okay. So here's the big reveal, folks. Did it work or did it not work? I'm going to pick up my screen and pull my paper off. That is a beautiful print, boys and girls. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to apply them to leather hard mugs. And these ones here are for a commission. If somebody's making uh, or wants mugs to, to sell in a, in a shop for Christmas. So I'm very pleased about that. Let me just get you turned around here. Get to look at my face for a moment. Um, so I uh, haven't done this before. This is my very first time. I am super fortunate to have my landlord um, in the same building, and he has a shop where he prints T-shirts. So he burned the screen for me and loaned me the squeegee. But you can make your own screens. Um, you can order uh, easyscreenprint.com. Um, you can order uh, the screens with the emulsion on them already and um, follow their directions. It's not very expensive. And then you can make your own screens. It's, it's cheap. You don't need any special equipment. Um, I think squeegees are like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, I was using a piece of, of um, vinyl, vinyl um, baseboard, um, and it was just too small. But uh, squeegees are, are, are inexpensive, and it's fun to learn something new when you're not paralyzed with fear. Um, I was kind of scared about doing this because it wasn't working out, wasn't working out, and I had to mix up this whole new batch of, of underglaze, and if it didn't work, I was stuck with a pudding-like underglaze I'd have to amend. So it worked. I'm happy with it, and, uh, and I shared it with you. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you around.